district on Long Island admits most children are at home unconnected and have not been given laptops they need for learning. But Hempstead school district officials say that it's not their fault and they blame the state and the federal government. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports. For the 8,000 children in Nassau's largest school district, remote learning is underway, yet fewer than half the kids in Hempstead Village have been provided laptops or devices. We came up to get our laptops, they never gave them to us. What does this mean for learning? We're not learning. It's sad because our children are losing out on precious education that they need right now. And we shouldn't use the pandemic as an excuse for them to keep losing out. Hempstead claims it wasn't mismanagement. It used its smart bond funding wisely. We have uh, several devices coming in. Many are on back order. That's a problem that's going across the nation. There have been delays, but parents here say the situation is more egregious with no timetable in sight. You knew this was going to happen. You you should have started way long time ago. Hempstead schools responded. This is yet another opportunity to pick on a district that is grossly underfunded by the state, has not raised property taxes in four years, and elected officials are doing nothing to change the status quo. I'm saying I have to get my laptop first before anything. Hempstead is the county's poorest in terms of taxable income and property values and is facing a financial crisis. My oldest one who's 17, he's a special needs child. Did not receive a device for remote learning. I'm one of the parents that stood on that line. Lines two hours long to pick up devices for the children going home empty handed. It's not about the blame game now. Our children's lives are at stake. Many families here say they are unable to even connect to the internet. From Hempstead Village, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.